generation came out, it went to crippling to banging. You know. Right on, man. It, you know what? I lo I love how you talk like that, man. We're gonna. I just I just put it in. Um. It said your transaction details, and it put it has your name on there, a hundred dollars. And so, I'm gonna go check my email, and shit, there should be a code in there, and then you can just go, you can just go to whatever store. I know all they're gonna do is ask you for like, you know, they might ask you for like an ID or something, right, right. But yeah, man, I, yeah, I'm into all that, man. Like Bunchy Carter. And, um, you know, from Slauson. And, right. Yeah. Yeah, Bunchy Carter. Bunchy, Bunchy Carter. When they were Black Panthers and uh, Kitty Carter, his younger brother, they were on Avenues and uh, Eddie Hayborn, which is his crime partner, uh -huh. the they had in the, in the early 70s. Um, um, Kitty Carter, he's a, 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 a BGF now. Yeah, yeah, like how the police uh, target people and kill them. Just it's like it's a, it's a kind of a routine thing they do now. Right, right, and they've been doing that for longer since the 1800s. You know, since slavery, since we came over here from Africa. You think like you think it, it seems it seems like a lot of that um that was going on in, like the 70s and 80s seems like kind of like the police were, like stalking people, like like. It seems like people were like targeted and stalked. Like you know how you know how when you're younger they pick you up and if you're hanging out with somebody else in LA they might just say you're a gang member just because you're associated with the person. Right, right. And then they put you in the computer and now they're now they're following you trying to get you caught up in something. Right, right, right. So if they can't put you in jail then they'll target you and try to like shoot you or something. Kill, kill, yeah. Right. And so, you know that. <laughs> You know the, 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 how you survived it, though, man. You you survived uh, a couple generations, two three generations of that, and very few people, you know, would know anything about that. Like I, you know, I think you're the. I, there's one other guy I heard of. He's from Muskegon. He he was at that Robert Blue. Uh, remember Robert Blue? The right. Dude? right. Which, which one was that? Uh, Jud that? You know Judson Baycott? Yeah, I know Baycott very well. He's one of my elders. Yeah, he grew up. You know, he's from Muskegon. You know he's originally from Muskegon. He moved to Los Angeles um, when he was younger. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's from. He's he's actually from Michigan. He he was born here. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I've yeah. been knowing him since sixties, since nineteen sixties. Yeah. He first moved here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he I saw him on the I saw him on YouTube with a guy named Grim I think or not Grim I don't know what his name is. a bigger dude kind of heavy set they both had went to jail together on that case. Big Bob, yeah, okay, Big Bob, yeah, yeah. and I then I then I saw you on the History Channel. That's why I saw. I remember you, you you had a suit on, man, and you were right. you were on the History Channel, and then I saw uh, Monster Cody on the History Channel, Seneca, and it seems like a lot of you guys are coming back to the forefront to discuss the things that happened that they wouldn't let you reveal before. Yeah, 
you know? Yeah. Okay. I, you know what, man? That, I said, you know what? You, it's funny because Inglewood used to be the, the crib area, but now when you go through there over like on Crenshaw and 104th, it's all turned into, it's all turned into uh, Bloods now. Right. But you know, I, I was watching a thing where it was like, um, I was watching a thing about Cointel Pro, man, and it was showing how back in like the seventies and in the sixties and stuff, like they had like undercover FBI agents like burning down black movie theaters and stuff, and basically like any any black owned business, um, the Cointel Pro, the FBI, they would pretty much target it and try to destroy it, you know, and and it seems like there was like a conspiracy. I mean, if you weren't doing wrong, the it, the people who were going to be successful. They would basically try to take what they had, right, right, and you know, in the black community, and so. But. Yeah, man, I'm I'm out here right now. It said, the transaction is processing. Um, I'm just waiting for it, man. They're gonna give me a phone number. I mean, they're gonna give me a number. And that's all you're gonna. That's all you're gonna need at a store. And I use the name. You know, I put your name on there, and it's a hundred dollars. And so it's for today, Friday, July. And so it said, "Dear Jamil Rawls, we've received transaction request and are working on it. You will receive a confirmation email once the transaction is successfully processed. If you sent a cash pickup money transfer, please note that it is not ready for pickup yet. You can track the." status of your transaction online with authorization number. So right now what they're doing is they're processing it. It should take it's any second, man. It's going to tell me. Okay. It's going to tell me. It's, it's, right. So. 
you know, but man, I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be able to contact you though, man. And hopefully, hopefully we, you know, we can do something in the future too, because you're one of those, you, you just being around, man, is, is a blessing, you know, is a blessing because there's not too many people like you who have the history and the knowledge that you have, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and and LA's changed, and LA's changed a lot, man. Like you, you're in the Gardena area, right? No, I mean, I mean, I'm on the west side. I'm where really all happened at. Okay. Oh, over in South Central. So, I mean, see, in, in 1972, in 1972, we started the Crip multiplication and turf off, and with new name Crip Turks, new and abroad. That's why it's spreading the way it is now. So. Ray Washington put me in charge of the West Side in 1972. Not Stanley took the wings. He okay. was against us. He was against the Crip occupation and Turk Ball, but us expanding new name Crips. Sets Turks near the ball because he wanted to be the undisputed leader and bounder like Ray Washington of the Crips. Uh huh. And he had to, he went into exile, into Compton. And we continued on with the Crip occupation and the Turk Ball, starting in the hundreds. 80s, 60s, 30s, Long Beach, and just and then it, 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 it kicked off with Eastside, Compton, and it went all over the world. And that's under Ray Washington's legacy. Chitty Chick, Bang Bang, Crystal, Donnie, Multiply, Crypto Died. <laughs> ain't, ain't that where Boo Hill came from? You said when Tookie went to Compton, is that where did he start? Yeah. No, he didn't start Boo Hill. Boo Hill was already started. James Compton and all them started Boo Hill. Ball Steve and all them. Okay. Yeah, that that was a um, that was a big ordeal, man. I, I saw that guy. You know, you ever heard of Jamil Barnes? Yeah. He was on. The, I saw him on there. He was talking about he wanted Tookie to die, man. That kind of tripped me out. I had heard, you know what? I read about that um, that Crip Constitution. I heard it was it was it started. There was one. I heard one thing saying it was started in jail. That's what. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, well, what happened was Raymond Washington. Raymond Washington. Well, Raymond Washington went to jail in '72. Well, first he was involved in it. He didn't do it because he wanted to kill. He was a fighter. And and um, he made he, he wrote the Constitution and sent it down to the Nimbu. Right, right on, man. Yeah, that that's you know what Raymond Washington. Um, they wrote a book about him. Some cop. Uh, it was a it was a white dude. 
he wrote a book about Raymond. Wa yeah, yeah, and I was I was listening. Yeah, and I was. Do you think he really knows? Uh, you think he's right, right on? I mean, he probably. All he can do is to know what information he knows and, and about like everybody else. They basically got it from us and the, the police reports and all that. But no, he, he, he can't tell you the the, the origin why you know why we started gripping and why we started spreading. He can't tell you all that. Or why we 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 we're, we're national now. You know, and he can't tell you why. He can probably tell you why with the group and the gang banging, you know. Right, right. Hey, man, they just sent me another email saying, um, saying it's been processed. Let me, let me, let me call this number and, okay, and, and get the pit tag. Okay, I'll be ready for you. Okay, I'm going to call you right back in, in one minute, man. Okay, bye-bye. All right.